since NFL owners last week added pass interference to the purview of replay reviews, the doom and gloom brigade keeps predicting the sky will fall. That chaos is upon us. Oh no, that coaches now will challenge every important pass play late in every drawn out game, that pass interference, pie, calls will be overturned, and non calls flagged after the fact, left and right. To the point no one will know anymore what is pie and what isn't, it is all that likely to happen. No, especially if the CFL's successful five year history of reviewing pie is a useful gauge. In a phone interview on Friday, the CFL Senior Director of Officiating, Darren Hackwood, explained how pie reviews specifically work in the three-down league. Most importantly, he said the CFL has two strict criteria for pie overturns, a replay cliché, for sure. But as Hackwood explained, it's not lip service. More on that in a moment. While Hackwood's NFL counterpart, senior VP of officiating Al Riveran, isn't prepared to speak publicly yet on how the NFL intends to review Pi, it's important to note that the league has not changed. The language for overturning any reviewable plays on the field, a decision will be reversed only when there is clear and obvious visual evidence available that warrants the change, there are those words again. So long as the NFL is firm and consistent in this regard, as the CFL has tried to be, then concerns of the worry warts won't come to pass. The sky won't fall. Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer is on the record already as an opponent of the new replay rule. Last week at the league's annual meeting he explained his side's concerns, as follows, they showed a play in the Super Bowl where if you slow the play down to 100 frames per second, you can see that the defender got there just before the ball, Zimmer said. And if they're going to go by the letter of the law on that, I don't want to do it, but if you've got two challenges, you're going to use them for pass interference. Trust me, I'm going to use them and other coaches are going to use them against me, unfortunately, the way they're going to call it is letter of law, I think it's a slippery slope, but I'll do what everybody else tells me to do, Zimmer said coaches were informed by Rivern himself that we have to call it by the letter of the law. If we slow it down and see pie, we have to call it, no they don't, in fact. The CFL doesn't. Hackwood first of all provided a helpful, real-life definition of the clear and obvious threshold regarding pie, in general terms, he said, we're looking to overturn if you're sitting watching a game with two of your buddies and all three of you are in agreement. Those are the only types of plays we're looking to overturn, how slow motion replays are used might prove critical in determining whether the NFL gets this new review rule right. Three years ago Hackwood's predecessor as CFL officiating czar, the now-retired Glenn Johnson, told me that at that time his league's central replay command center watched pie challenged plays at regular speed first, then only if there was something fishy would they go to slow-mo, you're looking to see more about a potential illegal act. Johnson said, say it looks like he grabbed him. Did he? Or you'll see a sudden dip in the receiver's torso and wonder, how did that happen? Johnson stressed in 2016 something NFL fans should bear in mind until the four down league's new rule is tried out, starting in August with preseason games, it's not illegal to put your hand on a receiver, right? It's only pie if, as Johnson said, it had any material impact on the play, that's true in both leagues. Today, the CFL has no hard and fast rule for when replay officials can watch a play in regular motion or slow-mo, every play is different, Hackwood said. And what you're going to get from the camera angles is different, and what you're looking for is different. So it's tough to say we'll look at it in real speed, slow it down, then look at it again in real speed. That's not the way it happens, but you are looking for the clear and obvious foul. If you're worried about timing, is there contact early? Then that's where you want to watch it in real speed, so you're not calling those ticky-tack or non-impacting penalties that you're talking about. Hackwood stressed that his replay review staff is charged by CFL clubs to overturn only clear and obvious instances of all officiating errors, not just pie. With that as the threshold, Hackwood said his replay department gets it right nearly all the time. In self-grading, we got 5% of our overall challenges wrong last year, where we should have ruled the other way, he said.
but we feel very strongly that we're getting better, and we've gotten to a good place. The CFL makes an important distinction between how Pi is called on the field, compared when the replay command center, there is a different standard on the field. We're asking game officials to call it as they see it, whereas the replay command center is only overturning the clear and obvious mistakes. So we're not refereeing the game from the command center, those in the NFL who remain greatly troubled by the latter concept should lobby for this kind of distinction south of the border. Indeed, the CFL remains ahead of the NFL in many regards with replay. The NFL should look north more often, more closely, for future guidance on this stuff, we have some practice at this now. Five years, Hackwood said in reference to pie reviews. And we're getting better, we've gotten a lot quicker with reviews, too. I think we're around the 75 second mark, from the challenge flag to the decision announcement. A lot of that is happening for us now during commercial breaks, as in the NFL. So that lengthening the game worry doesn't necessarily occur, there ya go, another sky that isn't falling. Joe Cricket Postmedia.com at Dion Crick.